Hey, fellow collectors, today we're going to talk about Spawn, Gold Label, She Spawn, and Sigor. Now, this was an Amazon exclusive. If we look on the side, we see a nice artwork of Sigor. And if we turn it to the back, we see She Spawn and Sigor here. And if we turn it to the side, we see uh, She Spawn. So let's get these open and look how cool they are. Okay, now that we have them out of the box, you can see that this Saigor has a little bit of purple paint on him, and that's what makes him an exclusive to Amazon. If you're willing to pay the the duel, then it's, it's definitely worth it. This figure was this set wasn't that bad, um, considering he's normally forty dollars and she's usually about twenty to thirty, depending on where you look at. Now it does come with one accessory for um, she spawn, and it's this rifle that she has. Um, so if you do have the other pack, you'll have this plus some other weapons. And this one was bent in the packaging. You can see how straight it is. It's not that straight. So I'm going to have to, um, take my hairdryer and heat it up a little bit to bend it into shape. So as we go ahead, we'll take a look at she spawn first, ladies first. All right. And we see this nice, um, spawn like costume we'll go ahead and rotate her waist so it's in that v shape of the spawn you see this nice red hair that she has the spiky outfit with chains and the spawn uh, skull and we see that uh, she has some more spawn like features here the outfit on her leg and these spikes here on her arm and leg turn it around we see this jacket she's got on and we see this ammo pouch which is not really painted you can see the orange here from the vest uh, are the bullets themselves so for articulation her head does move left pretty good. Now right, no, sorry. You're not going to get much. Not with this wavy locks of hair. Now she can look down. Not much up. Um, it would have been nice if you could have rotated her hair around. Um, maybe next time you can get that. Now if we get her hair out of the way, her arm can go up pretty good. She can do a nice T-pose. Her arm will rotate around. She does have the bicep swivel and a double bend at the elbow and her wrist does turn around. As for articulation for the waist, she did do a nice ab crunch and she does have this um, diaper here that will prevent uh, the waist from, but you can rotate at the ab crunch to get over that. Now, she does have pretty good articulation for a split. The diaper does prevent it from going all the way, but if you stretch it, you can get the Von Damme. Now she does not have any uh, thigh swivel, but she does have a double bend at the knee. And her ankle does rotate around. Now she's got these big old spikes on her heels. And she does have toe articulation also. So the peg hole is right here at the foot. I'm using one of my NECA stands to stand her up since she did not come with one. I think we spent all the plastic on Sigor here. So we'll put her to the side and take a, start taking a look at Sigor. Now Sigor is a very detailed figure. And his head does have a lot of motion. Um, it can look 
that way and that way, up and down. His arms do come out okay, but his armor does prevent um, his left arm from going up, but his right arm can go up a little bit. But you can see here, this hard shell prevents it from reaching a certain point. But it does rotate around. He does have a bend at the elbow, but only so far. He does have these tubes here will prevent him from going up too far. But his wrists themselves do go out. And you'll hear nice ratcheted. They do rotate the round all the way. He has a belly crunch and its belly allows him to do a full rotation his legs are movable out and stand so we see here um, you'll see that whenever you do that his diaper starts popping open and it will expose his inner mechanisms so you might want to just hold off on extending them out as far as you can. Now, as I get mine back into more of a, a gorilla-like appearance, um, we can see the legs do have a nice knee bend and the feet themselves have a nice up and back motion. That one don't want to move. This one, there we go. And you'll hear that ratcheting. So, overall, you can get them in a nice gorilla pose. And uh, I wish the fingers were articulated, but they're not. If I compare them to Gorilla Grodd, he definitely is a menacing figure. Um, his mouth does not open or close, but it's in this permanent growl here. There we go. Go ahead and uh, leave them like that. And that's probably how he'll be posed in my on my shell. Now, with the limited articulation of uh, Sigor, she at least makes up for some of it. Um, now, is the double pack worth it? You can get them. I saw her yesterday for $25. And it did have all her accessories. So, with the first run of her and then he is like 40 bucks and they did come out with a new uh version of him so it's definitely different armor this is purple um others have seen as silver and all in gold uh, depends on which light version you like better for which one you want um this is an amazon exclusive like i said so if you want to go up there see how much it is for you to pick up I would recommend it. Um, if not, go to McFarland Toys. See if uh, they have the figure for you. And so, and here's the other thing I wanted to point out. Now, her hand is a closed fist. That has no break, so I can't put her weapon in her hand. And she did not come with any other hands. So I have to sit there and kind of break it open. Cause it looked like mine was all in one part, but I eventually got it and uh, looks like uh, she'll be holding the rifle and sniper configuration on the shelf. As always guys, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.